Welcome, Family Church, to our Elder Update number eight, episode eight. I'm Matt. I'm John. I'm Terry. I'm Casey. Yep, we have exciting news for this Sunday. Terry, what are we doing this Sunday? We're opening up for service. Awesome. It's going to be unbelievable. Uh, we we'll get see to... people in their seats. Yes. For the first time in, I think, has it been five years? Oh, five man. Years. It feels it's felt like, like a feels long time. time. It, it may not like be it. their exact seats. Oh, yes, that's true. Because you, you might have to adjust from where you normally sit to some other places, but that's just part of the process. That's yes, true. Casey's reassigned your seat. Yes. Welcome. <laughs> when you come in... <laughs> So, and it'll be, we'll just skip to that. So the, it'll be Jump three in. seats apart, right? Are we thinking so we'll that? Have so we'll have spaces for spaced three out. seats apart, and then we're also going to space rows. So, so alternating some rows. rows that will be spaced off um, yeah. just to keep distance from everyone for. So how are we, so we're just going to like, how are we going to space them out, Jen? The rows. Every other row. Are we going to put a <laughs> rope or something there? Every <laughs> other row. As yes. people come in, one of the rows will be blocked off, and then you can come and. Great. Space out three three seats apart. Okay. And we'll have bodyguards at each row that people are bodyguards not to, to be make at. sure that that's going to happen. Yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. So, and then children's ministry. Children's so ministry. Children's ministry. I, I just want to say this real quick. I don't want to jump in. Yes. But I'm jump just in. thinking, as we are the family church, it's yes. a blessing to have families in the church service, right? Oh, right. So, that's, so that's as point. we as we start back. We are going to sort of hold off on children's ministry, but we want families to feel welcome coming into the sanctuary. That's and true. we're happy to hear children, you know, talking or crying or whatever during service. It's not like we're a church yeah. that yeah. don't allow children in the service. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Multi-generational yeah. worship. We're for that. Yeah. And it's, it's encouraging. Um, it's great for your children to see you worshiping in service as well. And Amen. so that's something we've tried to do. In previous years have a couple of times built into the year anyways, where we encourage all the kids to come into service. Um, but as we all know, children have a hard time social distancing. So we're not opening up our children's ministry just yet. So if you can keep your kids close, uh, closer to you as yeah, much so, as possible. So you know, families can sit families together. Families sitting together. You don't have to space yeah. out your children three right. seats from you. So yeah, your family, your group that comes in can sit together, but then we'll space people out. And again, I, I, we, don't, we don't want families to feel worried about kids being loud or anything like that because, I mean, they're kids. They're going to yeah. yeah. move, be you know, a little louder than normal. That's great. That's fine. That's what families do. And so. so we'll be opening up our children's ministry in a couple of weeks, and we'll keep you posted for that. But have been doing a ton of stuff. We've mentioned in previous Elder videos uh, about the children's ministry and about the room and some things going on. So we're excited so couple, about that. So couple or? Uh, I should say more than a couple, because a couple can yes. mean two. Yes. It's okay, more yes, than yes. a couple, <laughs> yes. um, but we will let yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah. So. And then uh, a couple of other things, our, our coffee. Oh, yes. So we're going to offer coffee before the service begins. Between, what do we say, around 9.30 to 10 when the service starts, we'll offer coffee. But we've got somebody yeah. that's going to be dispensing the coffee. Yeah, we're going to get John's mom. Right? Yeah. Your mom is going to be I thought we were getting Terry's call. mom. Oh, wait. Ma, your hey, mom you and my are mom are the same. Related? Yeah. Right? That's, okay, good. That's true. <laughs> so mom is going to actually be the dispenser of coffee. And Katie is going to be the connoisseur to get the coffee prepared and ready. Yeah. So it's going to be awesome coffee. Yeah, it'll be yeah. really good. Yeah, she She's very particular yes. about the coffee. Yeah. So. And she's I know everyone is wondering, what about worship with Katie? Oh, Katie will be singing. Oh, she'll she'll be with man. So Katie, with us. Excited. I know I've had yep. people ask. So <laughs> That is the case. Excited to see you all here Sunday at 10 a.m. Yeah. Yes. And then our <laughs> core classes. Core classes are still going on. Um, they'll be via Zoom for those who are going to be uh, watching from home. It'll be the same way that it's been. You can go to our website. We're also going to have uh, the core classes available here for those who want to come and sit in the class live. And so uh, there'll still be Zoom going on. You have a TV. You'll be able to see those who are either up north or in their home here. And mm -hmm. then you'll also be around those that are present on campus at I think also might be good to add to that is that obviously during our service that also go live so everyone at home can watch the service online like like mm -hmm. they've been doing as oh, well yeah. so yeah that's true that's a good point yeah um i'd like to also just bring up that we're not going to be passing out bulletins either oh, yeah, they're yeah, gonna yeah. we're gonna have a digital copy um which will be provided through our family church marco app if you haven't downloaded it already please do so ahead of time so that way yeah. you can uh just get updates and also just see what's going on with our bulletin. Um, 
And For those of us who haven't downloaded the app, John, could you tell us how oh, to yeah, download how do the do app? That? That's uh, a good. It's, it's available in all app stores. Um, is app stores in Apple? Huh? Is Apple? Apple has, has yeah, one. Apple. Google okay. has one. Oh, Google they all Play have their own. Yeah, they all have them. And what did they and type Amazon. into the app store to find our app? Family Church Marco. Ooh, Perfect. Family Church Marco. Okay. Any more questions? Um, and, and the bulletin. Is there a place on this digital bulletin to take notes or no? Oh, yes, there will be. Oh, nice. Okay. And also we can always remind people if they don't want to do it on the digital way, we have journals in the yeah. well that they can get to yeah. take notes as well. They feel so. really nice too. Yeah. They've got that soft, like, pleasure like feel. The, yeah. yeah. It's almost like we know so what, what, what we're asking about before we ask. Wow. It's good. Yeah. yeah. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> so all of the, the stuff will be on the app. So I encourage you to download that. Yeah. So, um, also, the tech positions that we have, because now trying to do the balance of the streaming and running the service live at the same time. Yeah, we have all these different positions. We, we have like a computer position. <laughs> we have a... Let somebody else <laughs> do the tech up. besides Terry, Terry here. <laughs> the computer stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, we need someone running lyrics because we want people to see the words as they're singing in worship. And that's going to... I'll give a general description. They can share what the positions are, but... Yes. Throughout this duration, uh, I know that they've put a ton of time and work and got new toys, new gadgets, brand new screens and soundboards and a bunch of stuff like that. So for you tech gadget oriented people that want to learn how to do that stuff, we have brand new systems. You want to share about some of the, the opportunities people have to learn some new exciting stuff? Oh boy, maybe you want to go ahead. Oh, uh... as a snapshot. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So lyrics. That's, okay. I'll, I'll stick on that one because that's words. really, I mean, without words, mm -hmm. it's hard for people to sing along a lot of times. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, and then uh, for the video camera angles, we want to be able to swap so that people can focus in on the sermon when it's sermons going and then focus in on worship. When and worship that's a is new going. feature, right? New yes. tech for that to so where we, we can a, shoot different camera angles live during the service. Right? Yeah. So John's awesome. hooked up a video switcher yep. where they can swap between those angles, but we'll, we'll get awesome. people... This might overwhelm people. We probably shouldn't go into yeah. much more detail. Some people are so, getting excited about that. Well, stuff, then, yeah, those are the you know you who you are. <laughs> so, we need uh, you. Yeah. So, um, and then, but just to recap, though, we realized that there's like a still the the different views as to how early to start back, and so that's why we're trying to hit both of those. So we're trying to do a really well. Um, ran service where we can all worship together, but still doing the social distancing um, right. for now the way we need to do that. And then for those that are staying home, we're being mindful of their decision as and we'll, well. And we'll have all the, the things like whether gloves or masks available and then hand sanitizer, of yep. course, for everyone that um, would need that as well. So Yeah. Yep. So if you forgot yours or you need one, we have them available at the information desk. Yeah. Sure. And some of that and maybe I should say this too, is more voluntarily. We're going to let people feel, have the freedom to either wear a mask or not wear a mask, whatever yeah. they think is yeah. what they... Based upon their own like. personal conviction. And yeah. it's an opportunity for us as believers um, to, to work alongside of one another and different conviction levels and things mm -hmm. like that, show freedom and grace. Right. So. So, so to recap real quick, so our service Sunday starts at what time? At 10 a.m. 10 a.m. And our classes, core classes start at what time? 8.45. 8.45. 8.45. So sort of to conclude our sort of this video, why don't we just give a quick description of what it'll look like on Sunday morning as everyone comes back? Yeah, for worship, we're not going to have the whole band uh, crammed into the studio. Okay. So we're actually going to be here we're on stage. Back here on the stage. Yep. Okay. So we'll have a we'll have a band and we're okay. going to be leading worship and awesome. worshiping together with those that are here and those online. So okay, awesome. cool. And then Casey, are you preaching? We are still preaching. I hope That's so. That's right. And so if you want to read ahead, I encourage you to read ahead. Uh, we're working through Psalms 29. And okay. it's a, a psalm that's set in the midst of a storm. And uh, it's a very poetic psalm. So love for you to, to read that and, and be caught up on that as you enter the service on Sunday. Awesome. Well, are we good? If so, I'm going to end us in prayer. But we are excited to have everybody back here this Sunday at 10 a.m. Holy Father, we, we thank you for your church, Father. We thank you that we can come together if this is a corporate body of Christ, being able to, to sing 
songs of praise to you for your glory, Father, to to pray to you for your glory, Father, to, to hear a message that honors you, that lifts you up and helps us to walk in your ways. So Father, I ask that you help prepare our hearts and minds to be ready to hear Psalm 29 as we see the majesty, the power, the glory of God in the midst of this world and how he works and how he's supposed to continue, how you continue to work on us as your people, Father. And I just thank you for the the sweet reunion we're going to have this Sunday as we are with each other face-to-face in community, glorifying you. We thank you again for your church. And in Christ we pray, amen.